Uh, this is a tour of our uh, 1998 uh, Winnebago 22 foot Class C motor home and it has a uh, the engine is a, a Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 with a, a four-speed automatic and uh, we have 84,000 miles on it we bought it when it was uh, three years old from a rental company in Anchorage, Alaska. We're presently at the KOA campground in Asheville. And uh, some of the work uh, we had to have done to it is uh, water got into the cab over uh, from when the awning, the awning was installed. It wasn't sealed properly and eventually we had to have uh, we had some dry rot and we had to have this whole cab over uh, rebuilt and uh, you can see that that strip there uh, is where the rebuilding process uh, terminated at and uh, uh, so uh, we just uh, I just fixed up the seals before we left Lafette Georgia and uh, uh, the uh, wheel covers we replaced are uh, simulators. And uh, I'll show you some of the compartments. My wife is going to grab the camera. And uh, there you go, Willene. And we'll walk. We'll do a walk around. Uh, it has an awning. And we don't use it a lot because uh, most sometimes we'll use it when it rains, but I don't like to put it away wet because it can get moldy. And uh, in this compartment is for the uh, pro propane tank and fill. And down here is uh, we have the coach batteries. There's uh, two of them, and here. We have some out, outside uh, AC outlets, and uh, uh, this uh, this compartment here is uh, uh, where the uh, refrigerator uh, components are, the back side, and this is uh, for the furnace and. Uh, uh, I have a little, uh, I'll have a little mock uh, burglar alarm. It's called a scarecrow that I put on there, and uh, uh, this compartment here is uh, where the water water heater components are. And then we have we have some storage here. I have our hoses in here and a, a jack and bungee cords. Uh, some two by fours. It doesn't have a, a leveling system, so I I just drive up on two by fours if it's unlevel. And uh, this step here isn't the best the best one going because uh, uh, because it's in a low spot, it drags once in a while, and I have to take it off and straighten it out. And what my plan is to put some. Uh, uh, adjustable air shock so we can raise this back end up a little bit uh, and so we won't drag our steps so much. It usually happens uh, in a dip like in a parking lot so we have to be real careful. I've had it off numerous times and had to uh, straighten it to be able to pull it back out again and so uh, then around here we, we keep our sewer hose in this bump bumper here to come around this way, Willene. Uh, we have a ladder we can get up on the roof and uh, uh, we have two spare tires. Uh, this this one's mounted and this is one, an extra one we're carrying. Um, we're headed up to Alaska and uh, if I have a problem with one of my Mich Michelin tires I won't have to buy a tire in uh, Canada 
that, that would be a mismatch tire. I can wait, wait until we get to acreage and then uh, uh, buy another Michelin if, if I have to uh, use this one on the wheel and then have, I can have this one for a spare. So that's why I'm carrying two tires. And then here I have some big jack stands and some more uh, blocks. And uh, come around this way, Willie. And uh, down here is uh, for our sewer, our sewer uh, connections, black water and gray water valves. And the motorhome has these handy any little latches that can hold the doors up. Uh, uh, the, on the other side, I forgot to mention that the decals are uh, starting to wear more than on this side because of uh, the position of the sun when the uh, motorhome is parked. And uh, this, uh, this is the uh, gravity uh, Behind this door is the, uh, the gravity feed for putting water in the tanks. And this is uh, when you want to hook up water uh, where, when you're at a campground where you don't have to use your tanks and it feeds directly. And uh, we have uh, here is uh, where the uh, cord goes for shore power. AC shore power when we're not running on batteries and we're at the campground. And we have some more more storage here. We got uh, slippers, no. We got uh, chairs in here and the barbecue and uh, uh, tanks for the barbecue. And I have a uh, couple tools. And down here, I have a, a 2016 Onan Cummings 4KW generator. Slippers come. Sorry about the dog barking. Uh, the old generator, uh, it needed parts. It needed to be rebuilt, and the parts were obsolete. And so we have a brand new, brand new generator in here. Sorry about the dog barking. The uh, uh, motor home is on an E350 chassis. And uh, we'll walk around this way again to show the decals here. And you can see these ones around here will come around this way. Uh, what, these ones up here I got off e eBay. When we had that cab over rebuilt, I, I'm thinking now that uh, it might have been better to leave that window out and uh, just made it solid fiberglass and we would have had more insulation and not had to worry about that window breaking. And uh, you come around this way. Uh, you can see these decals are more worn than the other side. They're checking, and uh, uh, so they they need to be replaced or something done done to them. But we probably won't worry about it uh, for now. So. We're going to uh, take a look inside now. Okay, uh, this is the kitchen. We got uh, storage there and the sink and four drawers. And uh, under here, uh, we, we keep our uh, uh, trash can and soaps and uh, dish rack 
And up here, uh, we keep our pots and pans and dishes. And we got more storage up here. Uh, keep Orleans uh, computer up there and some paper towels and there's some dehydrators. When we're running our heat a lot, it, the motor home can sweat a little bit. And we got some uh, uh, dehumidifiers that we keep up there. And there's the microwave and the hood and the stove. And we have an oven. And uh, down the bottom, I keep some tools and we keep uh, the dog food. And over here, we have a uh, little pantry where we can keep, keep some spices and food and whatnot. And here's a view of the front end. There's a couch that jackknives into a bed and then there's the booth table. It makes into a, a bed, a little smaller one that's really just good for kids. And then up up there in the cab over we have the bed that uh, we sleep in most of the time. And there's a, there's a vent over there. And over here is the refrigerator. And it's not a really big one, but uh, it does a job. And there's a little freezer up there. I got to get a, a latch for it, just using uh, duct tape right now to hold it closed. And then we have some uh, shelving in there. And yeah, the refrigerator will run on uh, AC or propane, but uh, not. 12 volt and above there we have some more storage for food items and above the booth table we have uh, uh, two storage cabinets and they have these little uh, hydraulic lifters that hold the doors open and we have food in that one and and this one, we have uh, some CDs and my camera case and little karaoke mic. And next to that is old style TV, which we don't use too much. And I have my uh, all band radio we listen to sometimes when we're boondocking and little uh, curtain to uh, shut off the motor home from the cab and uh, the uh, those curtains there on the side are new because the old ones fell apart in the wash machine and a uh, good friend of ours Dewey Blaylock uh, made those for us and uh, there's the cab over where we sit when we're driving and it's got uh, there's motorhome has cruise control but it doesn't have power windows and it has an AM FM cassette and uh, I can play CDs with this device I have and there's my Garmin GPS and not a lot of cup holders but there's one for the driver and Lincoln can put her drink in that little uh, opening there that showing right there and it's got airbags for the passenger and the driver so it's pretty well featured for a 98 it's older but it's got a good engine good powertrain and above the couch here we have two more uh, cabinets I keep keep my stuff up there and then Willene is keeping her stuff up there and there's our little moose uh, little moose art thing uh, quilted thing and over here on the refrigerator I got a 
couple of uh, refrigerator magnets from Seldovia. And uh, the motorhome has quite a few lights. They're not LED, they're just regular uh, uh, re regular 12 volt lights. And, and it's got a lot of lights. And uh, it's got speakers, speakers here in the back, besides in the front. And we just have shades over the windows. We don't have blinds. And uh, the windows, of course, have screens. And you can open the screens too if you want to take uh, take pictures or video right out the windows. You can open the window and the screen, which is kind of nice. And I just put uh, new safety devices in here. Uh, that's that's the thermostat, and that's a carbon monoxide detector and down here is an L LP uh, gas detector and up, up here is a, a smoke, smoke detector and uh, let's see there's a air conditioner here which we've been using on this trip so far it makes it a lot more comfortable and of course it has a uh, a uh, forced air furnace too and down here is uh, where the inverter is and the circuit breakers and fuses and we'll take a look at the bathroom okay so uh, we're just using campground shower now because uh, we're gonna uh, we're hauling a lot of stuff and I've got uh, the shower full of these totes and we got our winter sleeping bags in there for when it gets colder going up the road and I've got my computer uh, repairing uh, tools and supplies and then one of them's about empty and we're gonna bring some stuff back with us and there there's a uh, slippers kennel in case we need it and there's a uh, place up here where uh, we got our uh, toiletry supplies and whatnot, and here's a sink area, and it's got a pretty good counter, a pretty good size counter, and then the uh, toilet, and uh, then uh, there's more storage underneath there where we have various things, and uh, we're storing like toilet paper and whatnot and uh, there's a vent in here with a fan up here and uh, I guess that's about it for the bathroom. I'll back up a little bit so you can get a better look at it. And the floor in here is vinyl which I like quite a bit. We bought this motor home from a rental company and they put, uh, instead of carpeting, they had vinyl in all their motor homes which makes it a lot easier to clean when uh, when you get ready to do it and you don't have to vacuum and, uh, so vinyl is really the way to go as far as I'm concerned and over here it, we have a, a closet uh, so and I keep my laptop I keep down here in our brooms and mops and stuff and our hanging clothes are in here and uh, and for the bathroom area, there's this, there's this curtain you can draw across there, so you can use actually use the kitchen area as a changing room, and uh, to give you more area if you want. And and there's a, a place here for extra towels to hang, and uh, another vent up here. So uh, the motorhome has two coach batteries and one chassis battery and if the chassis battery dies you can start the motor home with uh, the coach batteries by flipping a switch so that's a nice feature and I've actually had to do that once or twice and uh, got a fire extinguisher down here and I guess that's about that's about it and uh, for the tour there's a uh, forgot to mention there's a, a, a second door here it's a screen door 
so you can get more ventilation. And there's Verlene over there with the pops. And we'll be moving down the road soon and there's slippers. So that's it for the tour of the 98.